How's it going, everybody? BDB here. And crazy story yesterday. I don't know if a lot of people know about this, but Facebook bans all news. Well, I shouldn't say all news. Uh, I have another article that says the only news that wasn't banned was anti-vax stuff. But Facebook news bans stops Australians from sharing or viewing Australians and international news content. So they basically banned all news to anybody who lives in Australia, right and left. So, Australians are being blocked from accessing news in their Facebook feeds in a dramatic escalation of the social media giant's standoff with the federal government. Australians waking up this morning found they were blocked from viewing or sharing news content from publishers' pages, including news organizations like ABC. The social media giant said it made the move in response to the government's proposed media bargaining laws, which would force major tech giants to pay Australian news outlets for their content. The move also prevents people overseas from sharing Australian content on the social media site. Treasurer Josh Feinberg tweeted that he had held constructive talks with Facebook chief Mark Zuckerberg this morning, with, while communication minister Paul Fetcher said Facebook should think carefully about what this means to its reputation and standing. Uh, now, Cancel Facebook or delete Facebook was trending today. Uh, of course it would. Why wouldn't it? It's kind of um, limiting news being shared in a country, which means Facebook is more powerful than a government, which is something I don't like personally. I don't think Facebook should be more powerful than anything. I don't think Mark Zuckerberg should have more power than a government, an entire country. But, hey, he's American, right? He, he built the platform and we all used it, so. Facebook said that the proposed Australian law fundamentally misunderstood the relationships between their platform and publishers who use it to share their news content. It said it's faced the stark choice between attempting to comply with the law or banning news content on its services in Australia, and with a heavy heart, it was choosing the latter. Well, I'm going to read the entire thing, because the gist of it is the gist of what's going on. But Australian new publisher is switched off by Facebook already. ABC Australia. News.com AU. The Australian. The Sydney Morning Herald. But Facebook news bans sees anti-vaccine and misinformation pages unaffected and posting an information vacuum. Now, I'm not going to tell you or one way or the other about the vaccine in my opinion in my opinion youtube this is not me being a q i'm in no way or shape in line or believe anything that q believes i just think it was rushed and there wasn't enough testing to it so i'm not taking it. you can do whatever you want to do i'm just telling you i'm not taking it in the midst of an information vacuum caused by Facebook's news ban in Australia, fringe self-described self news websites, some already known for spreading misinformation, are freely posting vaccine scare stories. Oh my god, you guys, are you the only news left for Australians? All have gone? Read one comment today on the Australian Facebook's page with over 200,000 followers. The self-described news and media website is run by far-right figure Avi Yemi, who has previously been banned from Facebook for hate speech and played a lead role in Melbourne's anti-lockdown movement. The page has called for vaccines to be first tested on Bill Gates, feeding long-standing conspiracy theories about the Microsoft's co-founder. Another comment reads, how am I able to see this post? Were all news and media banned? So yes, all that was banned, except anti-vax stores, which Again, I'm not, I'm not telling you to or not to get the vaccine. You do it. It's your body. It's your choice. Do whatever you want to do with it. This doesn't come as a surprise to me because Project Veritas has already exposed uh, Mark Zuckerberg for already breaking his policy on anti-vaxxing, uh, the anti-vaxxing policy. Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg takes anti-vax stance in violation of his own platform's new policy. I share some caution on this vaccine because we just don't know the long-term side effects of 
basically modifying people's DNA and RNA. So YouTube, these are direct quotes from him, Mark Zuckerberg. Not me, not me at all. So if you want to see the actual video, go to Project Veritas uh, website or go to James O'Keefe on Twitter and you'll be able to see the full video. Well, that's going to be a video, guys. Let me know in the comment section below what you think and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.